Mackenzie. Today's story is called The Aztec, The Legend of the Eagle and the Solfent. Do you know what a solfent is? It's a snake. So The Legend of the Eagle and the Snake. The Aztec people had been walking every day for months now, searching for a new home. They carried the oldest and youngest among them. Some of the weakest were not able to complete the long journey. Some new Aztec had been born on the way and were passing their first days of life in the constant motion of travel. They took short breaks to eat, stopping only at night to sleep. Now the Aztec were in the center of a great valley. Their leaders at the front of the long line strode once more to the old high priest. Is this the right place for us to stop? The leaders asked. Is this our new home? The priest was very old. His long hair was gray and his wrinkles furrowed his brow. But when he, but he stood as straight as the mightiest warrior. When he spoke, it was always with a voice that was strong and sure. Once again, he told them, no, not yet. We are waiting for a sign from the gods. When they want us to stop and make a home, they will tell us. So their journey continued. Finally, one day, their forward scouts came back to report. There was a great lake ahead in the center of an island. There are no signs of enemies anywhere. There are not even any people to be seen. And we will camp on the shore, said the Aztec leaders. We can all use a rest and we can wash the dust off ourselves. So they all moved forward. In several hours, they had reached the lake shore. Suddenly, the high priest's eyes opened wide. He raised his hand and pointed. Look, he exclaimed, on the island. The people all turned to see what the priest had seen. On the island stood a tall green cactus. Sitting atop it, unharmed by the cactus's sharp thorns, was a great bard, an eagle. One of its powerful hooked talons, or claws, held the eagle steady on the cactus branch. In the other talon was a long, wriggling snake. As the Aztec people looked on in wonder, an eagle began, the eagle began to eat the snake. It's the sign, the people all muttered and they fell onto their knees on the green lake shore. A small boy knelt on the ground beside his mother, tugging at her robe and asking, what sign? The mother gathered her son close to her and promised that he would hear the story of the Aztec people before the end of the day. For now, they sat in awe at the sight of what was before them. Other children were curious as well to know what this unusual sign was about. Why were their parents and grandparents so amazed by the sight of the eagle eating the snake? That afternoon, they sat in wonderment at the food of, at the foot of the ancient priest as he retold the story that had been passed down among the Aztec for generations. Many years ago, he began, our people lived in the far north. One year, no rain came to their lands. Their crops dried out and died in the sun-baked fields. They feared that the rain god was angry with them, though they did not know what they had done wrong. So the Aztec leaders turned to the wise priests and asked them, what shall we do? The priest answered, the gods wish us to leave our home. Our stories have told of a time when all our people would have to move on. That time has come. We will go south, the Aztec leader said to the hungry people. Some of our brothers have gone there already and are serving as soldiers for the rulers of other tribes. These brothers have sent back word that there is a huge valley there with plenty of water. They say we may have to fight the people who live there to force them to let us in. But we are Aztec. We fear no men, only the gods. And so, a few days later, they put all that they could carry onto their backs and set out for the promise of green valleys with plenty of water for drinking and growing crops. Day after day, month after month, they traveled, resting only at night. But that was many years ago. But our people have never been settled for long. Every time we settled in the green valley around us, we have been forced to move, time after time, from one place to another. For years, we have sought the sign of our new home, predicted by the gods long ago. 
the god said that when the Aztec people saw an eagle on a cactus eating a serpent, they would know that they had found their true home. For nearly 100 years now, our people have wandered in search of this sign from the gods. And so, the old priest continued, you can see why this is such an important day for our people. At last, we have found our home. The children smiled at one another. They began to understand the importance of seeing the wondrous sight of the eagle eating the snake. They began to realize that they would no longer have to wander without a home. We are home, they said to one another. Yes, their parents said to them, you are home. We are all home. That is the legend of how the Aztec came to live on and around Lake Texcoco in what is now Mexico. The legend explains why they built their city on islands in the lake, beginning with the island on which they had seen the eagle.